Good morning, Internet. Adventure Travel and Scuba. Thomas here. It is Monday morning, 8.40, and we are currently we in Lolo Hot Springs. We just pulled in here last night. It got pretty late when we finished uh, section number five on Idaho BDR, uh, and that was Pierce to Darby. did that uh, Lolo Pass, which was quite challenging. And if you follow my video from last week, uh, I blew a fan on a, my Africa Twin. I had to cut out because it was melting all the plastics in. So I will be riding now only on one fan, but uh, I have to pass on the rest of the BDR. We will head out to Missoula right now. I'll do a quick research if I can find uh, how hard is it to swap it on a road. If not, I might have to ride home and continue the trip. No, no more off-road uh, because uh, yesterday we were Went through some serious abuse the guys dropped the bikes a couple times and uh, it was getting quite challenging i've seen many videos uh, before i got myself into this but nobody really showed the reality how hard some of the sections are and the bdr map itself it doesn't really show you that either we followed just the main drag we didn't even go on the red tracks that are marked on a gpx file so and it was uh, quite hard and uh, we're not new riders uh, we've been riding for quite some time it uh, it is challenging especially with those big heavy bikes so after last night we pulled in here we set up the camp and across the street behind me there is a lolo hot springs but that place is pretty run down and yesterday was a night that uh, Clothing was optional for men and women, so that's kind of weird, but I guess they do that every Sunday out here. Um, the bar was also closed, which is located just behind the trailer behind me. So there's some kind of a bar, but uh, she was good, nice enough that she sold us a bottle of, of whiskey. So we could have a, a couple of drinks uh, before we went to bed. So right now, at this point, we're just finishing packing here and we will start heading uh, to Missoula and maybe get some coffee and uh, possibly look some parts and also try to get touch with the families because for the last three days, there's no reception here whatsoever. There's no coverage uh, on a cell phone. That's the plan to let the family know that we are alive and uh, continue on the road, uh, but it's going to be on pavement. I'll see you guys in a bit on the road. So we're leaving uh, Lola Hot Springs and heading towards Elk City, Idaho, at on Tar. Trying to enjoy those sceneries around here. Still going to hang out in Idaho for a little bit. It will be more of a mixed riding. A couple days we spent on uh, gravel and uh, today just going to hang out on Road, some twisties around here, running through the forest. Today is not going to be a long riding day, as we are staying mostly on pavement. As I said earlier, we will cover about 247 miles. After we left Lolo Hot Springs, we headed towards Mon Missoula, Montana to see if I can even get the cooling fan and a shroud for my Africa Twin. Unfortunately, after contacting Motopo dealers, nobody had it in stock. It had to be ordered with a few days to wait. So at this point, I decided to ride the way it is and continue the ride. From here we have 115 miles uh, towards Elk City and it's a US Highway 12, very windy and twisty road, a lot of scenic lookouts here along the road. We have changed the plans and the trip to, to continue towards Oregon and Washington. 
after we had a coffee in Missoula, it was time to head back south towards Elk City, Idaho. The stretch of the road from Missoula to Elk City was very nice, US Highway 12 towards Kosika, Idaho. The road is very scenic and very windy, lots of curves, fun to ride, following Middle Folk Clearwater River. From Kosika, we took State Highway 13 towards Elk City, Idaho, having another river on our right side, South Fork Clearwater River. That river flows south from Middle Fork Clearwater River. We just stopped at nine mile access point to the river, washed out my jacket and zippers were starting to stop working. And that's the view behind us. We're following this river for quite some time already. Boys here, chilling as well. Chilling like a villain. a little bit further south the scenery is changing and the big mountains disappeared more dry less lush forests just a tree here and there and the grass is all brown still following the same river The temperature is rising, 36 degrees Celsius. I turn.
Just another pit stop at Nespes National Forest entry. We'll stop here again just to cool off and get the t-shirts wet so when you're riding it's gonna be much cooler because the sun is pounding. Beautiful sceneries all along the road. Uh, spectacular views still heading along the river so I'm just gonna get down right now and see how easy it is to access the water. We are now following Idaho State Highway 14 towards Elk City. Another twisty stretch of the highway. And now we have the river on our right hand side. The AC is working quite well, especially when you stand up, you get a nice, cool feeling. Highway 13 was not in the best shape comparing to Highway 12. It had a lot of potholes and after hitting one of them at high speed on a highway I have noticed that my windshield support was broken and the whole thing was wobbling so I needed to find a welder to weld my support bracket. Since it was made by Camel ADV it was made of aluminum and nobody was able to help. As we have arrived in Elk City I was directed to one fella that is handyman for a whole town. He was a retired police officer and a pilot that was working on small planes. He was able to do this for me for 50 US dollars. I had to take the front support bracket off at the campground and in the late evening it was all done. That night we have spent at Elk City at Riders Retreat Campground at 40 US dollars per night but campground was very decent and had a clean facilities including showers. We're approaching Alex City. We're gonna look for a place for a night after this. This is a, not much of a city. They call it the Elk City. <laughs> Too bad. 